So this is simply staying in written words, what I just said, except I want to talk a little bit about the sort of the mathematical thing that's underneath it. You have a set of objects, and you have a family of subsets. Certain sets are called independent. Independence is hereditary in the sense that if a set is independent, then any subset of it is independent. And in the graph setting, we consider subsets of edges, and we say that a set of edges is independent if it contains no cycles. So the edges that belong to a forest would be independent. In a vector space of dimension 5, any three, verse, three vectors might be linearly independent, or certain three element sets are. The maximal independent sets are called bases, just like in linear algebra. The maximal independent sets are called bases. And so the mathematical structure, which consists of a family of sets, a notion of independence, which is closed under subsets, and that you have an exchange property, is called a matroid. The word sounds like matrix, but it doesn't really have anything to do with matrix. It's called a matroid. And matroids are another class of discrete objects, and they're studied extensively, just like graphs and post sets, and lattices, and block designs and all kinds of other discrete structures. Okay, but uh, w that would take us well beyond this level, of course. I just want you to hear the word and, and see the concept.